I'm from Total War here, and today we've got a seven year disaster battle playing as the Bloody Hands going up against Clan Eshin. As you can see, though, the balance of power is pretty even. This is definitely going to be one of the easier disaster battles. Uh, we've got a Savage Orc uh, spam here up against four armies of, of Skaven. So there's. There's a lot of really crap units in here for sure, but they're just going to overwhelm us. And part of the problem as well is they got Snickers, uh, and he can he can inflict so much damage. So I guess the first big question is whether or not to control large armies here, because there's positives and negatives to both sides. If we don't control, sorry, if we do control large armies, it'll allow our magic to essentially do more damage because there'll just be more of them on the battlefield at the time. Um, so it'll make maybe the beginning of the battle a little bit more difficult, but the end of the battle should be a lot easier. How many minutes below do we have to deal with? we got to deal with four. Um, but on the other hand, if we don't control large armies, we could probably snipe this guy, take out these guys without any real difficulty, because they're going to be the real trouble. There's nothing else in these armies that is going to be that much of a problem. These guys here aren't going to be super important. So... Yeah, positives and negatives. I think I'm going to go with not controlling a large army, just so I can really focus on trying to snipe him, because normally I don't bother with trying to kill the enemy general, but in this case here, without much experience on these guys, if we could do that, we can just get these guys off the battlefield sooner. Um, whereas, if it's if we've got two full armies on the battlefield at a time, it's going to be a lot harder to snipe him, especially if Snitch is there. So yeah, that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to focus on magic, of course, and sniping that general. Now, the artillery is going to need to focus on the weapons teams. Obviously, they need to die. Um, yeah, but we'll see how we go. Now, I could have put the allies under AI control, but I'd, I want them to come in a bit later. Uh, okay, that's actually a pretty good spot for us to go and see. We'll go camp near our reinforcement zone. Uh, I'll actually put them around the other way, because I need to get further in there. A lot of experience on these guys. Um, I think I'll put these guys... Yeah, look, there's trees over here. If you can go and hide, just for the beginning. Because if I just leave them out here, they'll send a bunch of units to chase after them. And Clan Nation's notorious for stalking. I just don't want to deal with that shit. Alright, cool. So, Bouncer Power to begin with is in our favor. But yeah, we've got three armies of reinforcements to deal with. Plus Menace Below. So, there's going to be four of them. Luckily, no warp bombs, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Alright, let's have a look at these spells. We've got Gaze of Mork, Brain Burster, and Foot of Gork. Now, Foot of Gork looks like he doesn't gotten the full points into it, so it normally costs 15 wins of magic. Because it's so expensive and we're going up against the low tier units, it might be better off to use Brain Burster. Yeah, make sure we got some guys protecting them. They just stay hidden. Alright, where's that general? Hanging around the back there. Uh, if I could get this guy to uh, get around the back of him, that'd be good, but his speed is not very good. He'll just get shot by rattling guns. Still, killing the enemy general would be really good. Like, really, really good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Alright, I want you to shoot at the rattling gun. I want you to shoot at the poisoned wind globe it is. Okay, I want you to come over here and tank him for a bit. I might feign some charges here just to keep them back a little bit more. Giving our artillery more time to clear out the important units. Alright, I think I'll bring these cavalry out here now as well. I'll get through this gap here. Yeah, also, if they can shoot their own troops, uh, good too. But primarily, I'm going for him. Uh, rattling guns coming in hard here. Come on, get over here. The fight. Going. Don't want to use this yet. Yeah, I want to wait until we're in a, like a proper fight before we before we do that. Wait for these guys to come in here. They'll take out the rattling guns easily enough. Okay, those rattling guns there, they're faring pretty badly. Alright, time for our first brain burster. Good amount of damage done there. Get 
rid of these guys. Okay, you. Take that out. Really want to go for that general, but we can't do that while these guys are in the way. Alright, there's some storm vermin in there as well. Uh, why aren't they shooting? Probably the, the rattling gun went, that's why. Alright, where do we want to put this now? Uh, maybe shoot that. Okay, cavalry mopping up the rats there. Okay. Should be okay to use that now. Alright, now that'll bring in Snickers. Yeah, you shoot, shoot these storm vermin here. And maybe just uh, halt firing just for a bit there. Alright, cool. We've almost killed the enemy general. He's got no abilities. Good, just get him off the battlefield. That's essentially phase one. Make sure he dies. That's it. Just get him off the battlefield. Very nice. That one there actually has to die, not just get off the battlefield. That's got to die. Yeah, focus on the Skaven Slave Slingers just because they're a nuisance. Oh, you better bloody succeed with this. I really need you to. Alright, and now let our guys have a bit of a rest. There shouldn't be any more menace below us now. Come on, Slowpoke. What the fuck? Good, they shattered. So, we won't be able to see Snitch coming. Oh my god. This guy's 55 speed. I, I just can't catch him with it. Jesus. Come on. I, can't, I just can't catch him. He's too slow. Uh, I'm just going to have to let him go and try to recover our fatigue a little bit. Okay, cool, cool. He rallied. God, pathetic. This guy must be fleet-footed. With that kind of speed. Oh my god. This is pathetic. But when he hits, he hits hard, so that's good. Come on, you got to kill him. There we go. Good, 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 good. Alright, I forgive you for taking a long time there. Alright, just, uh... Those are just Skaven slaves, don't worry about them. Alright, get back over here. Uh, get back over, just over here and have a bit of a rest. Yeah, you come over here, rest up. Alright, let's speed it up. Just wait for the next wave to come. Uh, we don't really need these guys back here anymore. Cool. Yeah, see if we get that one off the battlefield, they're just going to bring in another unit, and that's just a piece of crap, so don't even worry about it. Alright. So, we got clan rats. I'm not too concerned about warp grinders, but maybe shoot that dude up. Yeah. There's Snickers. Maybe just keep an eye on him. Maybe, maybe even do try to do hit and runs on him. Mm, maybe not actually. I think you can very easily get my dude killed. Snake just came in on force march. Oh, 
Alright. Savage Orc should do okay against him. Alright, there's not a huge concentration on that yet. Now you jump in. That's not too bad. Come on, hit him hard. Uh, not my guy, I mean, come on. Come on, hit him. No, nah, we're getting hurt too badly. Sneak is just anti-hero. Just hurts too hard. The Savage Orcs will just have to deal with it. Keep that going, reserve. Alright, we got Storm Vermin coming in here. That'll be good to shoot. Just save up the magic. I know we're at 30, but don't really have any good targets right now. And I don't want to use Foot of Gork at all. Uh, one Clan Rat Spears. Eh, it's better than nothing, I guess. Alright, Snickers is going down. How fast is he? 54, okay. Good, that one's shattered. And Snickers is just about gone. Oop, he's got. Um, oh, that one went. Okay. Uh, this guy, he's taking too much damage. Let's get him out. Snitch will come back. Actually, you know what? Let's get these guys on him. Uh, I tried to get this one out of here, but I don't think it's going to work. Alright, we got more heroes coming in. Let's get rid of them. Yeah, it would be good to kill him. If we win the battle, he'll get wiped out. Of okay, there we go. Good, good, good. Alright, get back. Get back. Alright, there should be a good opportunity for some casts over here soon. It's not doing a lot of damage, but we're going after important units as opposed to, you know, clan rats or whatever. Yeah, it's just not doing much. Just hold, hold off on that for now. So this would be phase three, I think. Third army. Still one more to go after this. That's it, just te keep taking them out, little bits at a time. That's how you deal with an overwhelming force, you just deal with it a little bit at a time. Mm, that wasn't the best. Still, 200 kills on him at the moment, that's not bad. So this one here, just try to keep him in reserve. I can't withdraw him from the battlefield though, which would have been nice if we could. These ones here, we could charge them in, but I just don't see the point right now. Wait until these guys have all committed. All right, you go after, after him. Let's wait for these guys to all commit, and then we'll put down the bombs. If you come stand over here, you might just rout, which is what we want him to do. If I overcast it, 8 winds of magic causes... Yeah, okay, we don't need armor piercing. There you go. Right, now we'll bring them in. We'll charge that rear. 
Hopefully this one's the last wizard. Yeah, these are all coming in on Force March. Nice, good number of kills there, for only 6 wins of magic. Like, Foot of Gork does more damage, but it's better used against things like Dwarves that are just highly resistant in the first place. This is, this is not highly resistant. Alright, this one here is taking too much damage, let's pull him out. Here's the thing, our artillery here are worth a certain amount of balance of power with their ammo. If we shoot the Skaven Slave Spears, we might actually be losing balance of power. So, at, for the time being, it might be best to just not shoot. Just because they're so low value and these are high value. Not sure if we're even gonna need a reinforcement, so I think this is going really well. So Skaven slaves, yeah, don't shoot that. Unless it's like a big cluster of them like that. That way we just hit tons of them. And they might just break straight away, run off the battlefield. And although they're not worth much, they're still worth something. Let's see if we can kind of dodge that. Hit us a little bit, but I think he's just about to die now. There we go. Hopefully that's the end of their magic. And we've still got 53 reserves. Just keep them in reserve for now. Good. Okay, that one's out of ammo. Bring them back in. A lot of just about routing units. They can just tip the tide. Alright, big attack. Here we go. And time that with another brain burster. Now, if everything's gone well enough, we might inflict the army loss penalty right when the fourth wave is just about to begin. Because our army is still in good shape. Still in pretty damn good shape. And just, yeah, just get them off the battlefield. Gonna sh not gonna oh, actually, just one volley might break it because they got such low leadership. There we go, good. And yeah, it's just more. Save for the missile units over here, the Scaven Slave Slingers, because they can actually do a little bit of damage to us. Cool, the shattered, good is dead. Okay, we're back. Alright, let's focus on these guys here because they've taken no damage. And these ones here, they're now reserves. 
What's good about doing this is that every time we we sort of route them, we get to have a little bit of a rest so our fatigue stays nice and fresh. While they are coming in pretty exhausted. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, it's not worth it. Just be patient. Alright, charge again now would be okay. What's this? Scave and Slaves. Could shoot at it, but like I said, I'm going to save it for the Scave and Slaves thingies. Bit of a boar sandwich over there. Should start. And there's the army losses. Cool. Cool. The real difficulty of this one was just dealing with the heroes. Without their heroes and having killed the enemy general, like, they, they couldn't do shit. No point running that down. There's some um, scaven slaves and stuff over here that aren't going to get wiped out, but I think it's fine. Bit of damage, but I think two of their armies, including Deathmaster Snitch, was on Force March, so you'll have the remaining, like, I guess 3,000 to deal with. So those rattling guns got away. I think that was the one I was shooting with the artillery. Same thing with that. But no units got wiped out. We could replenish 10%, or... Your money seems fine. I imagine you're going to be constantly fighting, so have some replenishment. Let's have a look at the situation. Yeah, two of their armies were on Force March. No. Got plenty of territory. You're even a Kislev, jeez. What turn is this? 56? Damn! What difficulty is this? Hard. No, very hard. That's pretty good. It's definitely not legendary. It's on very hard difficulty. Cool. Alright, so levels on this guy, he doesn't have lightning strikes, so you have to deal with them again. But we recovered a good amount, so you really shouldn't have any problem just going in there and smashing them now. Uh, how strong are they compared to you? Now nah, you got this, it's done. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. And how's this guy coming along? Yeah, just get probably magical reserves. Because you really don't need the foot of Gork against these guys. Unless they're bringing loads of storm vermin, you're good. Plus, um, when you... When you beat them again here, you'll get another level up, probably. And this guy there was pretty good, just not against Snitch. All right, cool. The campaign seems like it's going just fine. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Appreciate you.